welcome back guys to another video and what we've got for you today is it's a diesel and it's a convertible as you can see so we've got an e220 cdi and it's the amg line i believe uh, it's a 2015 car and honestly these cars i think they're a very very nice smart looking car uh, and you get literally you know you get economy and you can get the wind blowing through your hair when you're cruising around so yeah got offered the car and thought yeah why not we have to take this opportunity to video video the car so yeah i hope you enjoy the video guys subscribe to our youtube channel performance lifestyles check us out on instagram performance underscore lifestyles and we're on facebook as well performance lifestyles and if you like the video or any of our content give the video a like it'll help us with youtube algorithm and stuff so yeah that will be massively appreciated but and if you'd like your car featured drop us an email pf lifestyle at hotmail.com and we will be more than happy to get your car featured on the channel but for today i've got this e220 cdi convertible and we'll catch you outside the car so here it is guys the e220 cdi amg line convertible and it's finished off in uh, like a pearlescent sort of white let's lorigo van go past So yeah, as you can see, it's finished off in like a pearlescent white and it actually does look quite smart. Um, I would have been a 2015 car. It comes with the facelift headlights. So I believe they are LED headlights, which is written just there somewhere. LED intelligent lighting, syst light system, sorry. Uh, the big, obviously, grill, the big Merc badge and the redesigned front bumper as well. So it's got this chrome little bit at the bottom, this lip. And again, this car is actually quite an, a smart looking car. It's about... A few years ago, if many people said, you know, convertible and diesel in the same sentence, you'll be frowned upon. But nowadays, it's kind of like the normal thing. So you get to cruise around with the wind blowing through your hair uh, when you're not wearing a cap, or if you've got any hair for that matter, uh, and you get decent economy. So they're, they're an actual very, very good sort of uh, medium nowadays. So onto the back end of the car. As you can see, it's got the facelift lights, which with it being a facelift car, so I believe they come on like a bit of a strobe sort of thing there. Uh, and again, you get like a diffuser, which I've only just noticed this as well, to be fair. It's uh, these fins on it, which is kind of like the go-to mod for a lot of performance cars nowadays. Um, and obviously this one comes with a rear camera as well. And with it being a diesel car, I think it's got a lot of chrome on there. With obviously chrome here, chrome on the front lip, chrome here, chrome badges. But it suits the car quite nicely with, because it is a diesel car. So had a look around, stepping out onto the road. So, uh, and this does actually come with the five spoke wheels i believe they are 18 inch wheels and they do actually look quite smart staggered fitment again because the merc rear wheel drive uh, and this one actually does have parking sensors on the back parking sensors on the front um, and obviously you'll see the inside it's got a contrasting red interior which i think looks quite smart and it also does have a red roof as well so i'll put a photo up here of the car with the roof up and you'll see what i mean it's actually quite a smart thing you wouldn't actually think a red red roof on a white car look all right but i think it actually gets away with it because the interior is red as well so there's a lot of red going on red brake calipers as well which are somebody's done them themselves because uh, i'm sure they don't come red from the factory um so yeah it actually looks quite nice and you'll see what i mean so what we'll do is um well, i'll show you the interior and then we'll go for a quick little drive and we'll wrap up the video it is a diesel there's no performance testing or nothing like that no performance runs no booting nothing like that but it is actually just a very nice car so and i'm sure there's going to be people out there who would like to know what these are all about with the roof off as well you get the speakers at the back here which look quite smart and the actual hump the actual thing where the roof sits you can't see this with the roof up but they've got like a hump here which almost reminds me of like a speedster sort of thing and it is quite a nice addition nice touch and again it's got these things i think the roof folds down into there so onto the inside of this So here it is. There's a lot of red going on inside. It's got full red, uh, red leather seats, red door cards, leather door cards. The top is plastic on them. The bottom is uh, leather. And then you get this new design Mercedes steering wheel because I believe the pre-facelift uh, cars did have a slightly different steering wheel. Uh, and obviously with these seats, they're actually quite a nice hugging sort of seat with the adjustable bolsters which are controlled through here. Normally what you see is a lot of cars that everything is controlled through one set of buttons. Um, but on these Mercs, they are slightly different. So you get the normal seat controls here on the actual door. 
uh, next to the door lock thing there. So, but then you get the bolster controls on your left side here or right side if you're sitting on the passenger seat. And I think it's, it's actually quite a nice thing. And a lot of Mercedes did actually have this feature. So yeah, onto the, the rest of it. It's got obviously the big speedometer in the middle, the gauge, the fuel, uh, temperature and fuel gauges there and the rev counter here. Would have been a diesel car, five, four and a half to 5,000 RPM is my, uh, red line starts and 6,000 RPM is max um, red line. So, and this does also have actually, it's got satellite navigation there, which the rear camera will pop up on there as well. Uh, it's got Harman card and sound system, keyless entry. So it, this is one of the keyless cars. I don't think that was a standard feature. I believe that might, that is an optional extra and this car does have it. And I think this red leather interior is actually quite a snazzy, um, snazzy touch to be fair. Like one of the, right, one of the features I believe that should have been actually quite standard in even BMWs is this. And I'm actually surprised they didn't do it, but Mercedes have. So you pull the seat forward and it automatically moves forward now the m4 that i had and there's a video on of the m4 on our channel so do feel free to check that out that was a beauty but not comparing the two cars but i'm just talking about the way the seat moves forward that had a button on the side here and you had to press the button just to actually get it uh, to move the seat forward to let your passengers in and but yeah this one doesn't so as you can see in the back they're quite spacious seats i mean that seat's actually you know can even move slightly further forward, but you still got plenty of leg room in the back for your passengers. And the seats are quite hugging to be fair. They've got nice firm bol bolsters and stuff on them. And then you get cup holders in the back here for your rear passengers. And with this having the Harman card and sound system, you get the speaker in the back here, which actually is quite a nice thing. And then you get the ski, ski hatches it, I think. It goes into straight into your boot. I'm not even going to bother opening it, I might break it. Uh, and then you get the rear window buttons here as well, which again, on BMWs you don't get them because they're all in the front for the uh, driver to uh, sort out. And the whole center console again, you get your climate control things here, CD changer, CD player here, and obviously your controls for your satellite navigation and your stereo heater controls. And then the Gen Mercedes clock, which I believe they all do have in the middle here i'm not sure if it's an option on some cars but they do i'm sure they do have it there and again you get your normal cup holders and a storage compartment there storage in the armrest and these are also for your screen to control your satellite navigation parking and rear headrests and these come with an econ uh, economical manual and sport sort of uh, gear shifting uh, buttons here as well so it's, it's quite a nice sort of thing one thing i actually quite find quite snazzy is you get this little cover here in the middle and you have to lift that up like a fighter jet cockpit like you get on the lamborghini aventadors where you have to lift that switch that little clip up just so you can press the button and it's a very similar thing which i don't understand why they've done it in such a way it should have just been a button that's visible and it's there to see to put the um, roof up and down that's what the button there is which i don't understand why it's hidden away in the uh, underneath here and then you get that for your windows as well so all all your four windows will Go up and down from there and these do also come with a diffu deflector wind deflector on the front up here somewhere so i'll show you that in a second um and it also does something with the rear headrest they actually the top part there let me move my finger there that thing actually comes comes up and it acts as a wind deflector so again it's a snazzy little feature that mercedes have actually put onto uh, their cars and with it being what we seem to forget is uh, a lot of times it is still a Mercedes Benz it might be a convertible and I know a lot of people Mercedes enthusiasts will probably not like the idea of a diesel convertible but it is still a Merc and it is still one of the top of the range Mercs so it's actually a beautiful car to live with and to drive and to actually own and the other thing you'll probably notice is with it being a Mercedes Benz there's no handbrake here because the handbrake is actually it's more of a foot brake so it's this thing here on the side here so you press that pedal down there and to release it you've got this little switch here so you keep that pull that and it releases your handbrake all right so this actual button here let's see what this i don't know if you noticed that but that's the actual it's like a wind deflector it kind of like channels the wind so it goes straight over the cabin with the roof off uh, and it's like a little little mesh piece at the front here with loads of dead flies on it which you're going to get to be fair and 
I've not actually seen that on any other car, but it does actually look quite smart. It's it's actually a very, very smart feature. And then obviously it goes back down as, as well. And what it also does is, if you have a look at the back, so the whole, the headrests and the actual wind deflector go further up. And again, working in combination with each other, the actual front air, the actual front um, wind deflector and then the rear ones, I think it's actually a very, very, very good thing. And apparently it minimizes a lot of wind inside the car when you're traveling. So you could potentially drive it with the roof off and the wind deflectors up on the motorway at motorway speeds and it won't cause you any problems. So again, that's another very, very good thing that Mercedes have actually uh, uh, done here to be fair. So what we'll do is we'll go for a We'll go for a little drive and then we'll conclude the video and like I mentioned it is a diesel and uh, as you're probably aware you're only watching this video knowing that it's a diesel anyway so we'll uh, go for a little drive and then we'll conclude the video so I hope you enjoyed the video guys subscribe to our YouTube channel performance lifestyles check us out on Instagram performance underscore lifestyles and we're on Facebook as well performance lifestyles and if you like the content that you see please do like the videos um, and like I mentioned it does help with youtube algorithm and stuff so yeah and it will help us grow so much appreciated people and what we'll do is we'll catch you on the drive right onto the drive of uh, this merc and so the, the foot you actually can tell it it drives literally just like you'd expected. It's still at the end of the day, it's still an E-Class Merc. And the E-Class Merc, as you know, is one of the bigger, prestigious sort of uh, models in the Mercedes-Benz uh, lineup. And the E220 does come with a 2.1 litre, 2.1 some say, some say 2.2, but um, yeah, 2.1 litre turbo diesel engine. So it's, uh, and I believe they are about 170 odd brake horsepower. So it's got plenty of power to get you, you know, get you going and get you cruising along without any real effort. But it drives actually very, very nice. The steering wheel is actually quite focused, quite, not focused, but quite central. I've driven Mercs in the past where I've actually thought, especially I used to own an A45 AMG a few years ago, and it just felt like the steering wheel wasn't quite central. It was a bit over to one side, so you're sitting almost like, if you were sitting like this, you'd be like, yeah, it'd be right in front of you, but it just didn't, it just didn't uh, seem right. But no, this, this is actually quite decent. The whole thing has got paddle shift steering wheel as well, paddle shifters on the steering wheel. So there's a massive pothole on the floor over there, which uh, no doubt they're not going to do anything with. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite a nice car just to be cruising around in. It's a nice car to own. It's, it's a comfortable, smooth car. And with it being at this time of the year as well, it's got heated seats. You've got this air scarf thing here. I mean, it's, it's actually a very, very well-spec car. And I believe this does have obviously a few of the optional extras, which you won't get on some of them, but it's still a very nice, very nice car to, to live with. The, like I said, the interior, the seats, with the bolster adjustments on the left hand side here, the seats are actually very, very hugging. And now you can change that as well. So you can actually, push the bolsters back in so it sort of like doesn't hug you as much so if you've got slightly wider hips or you're on the bit on the bigger side then it's still cater for you but I think it's it's actually a oh what's this guy doing what's this guy doing hmm it's almost like the guy's waiting in the road to be run over or something no idea but anyway uh I'll put it over into the manual mode and see what the gear change on this is like. So, and I'm not expecting it to be. Yeah, it's, it's quick enough. I won't say it's rapid. It changes gear manually, you know, when you want it to do, do so. And we're driving in eco as well. So if we put it into sports mode, yeah, sports mode. You can tell all, all of a sudden the uh, car wants to rev a lot higher. And I can only imagine, you know, zero to 60 times on this car will be nine seconds, eight and a half, eight, between eight to nine seconds, should we say, which I think 
is about right for a diesel that weighs probably about as much as a small bungalow because it has got a decent sort of spec to it as standard so and with spec obviously more the more the spec that they have the uh, heavier the cars are in general these seats must be quite heavy as well they're they're quite a chunky seat and with all the electronic motors inside the seat and then the rest of the car it adds up the whole the whole weight thing does add up but overall i actually do believe that i do think this car is actually a very nice car to drive it's probably more suited for a woman but yeah it's it's nice very nice visibility as well around the car quite good the roof up though that rear the rear posts there that norm well the posts that are normally there the cloth the roof part is actually quite wide so you do have to kind of like pop your head prod your head up a little bit just to get to look over there and your blind spot as such but again it's not it's not the end of the world and i'm driven far worse cars um with far bigger places where your blind spot is literally you know you, you you literally don't you can't even see your blind spot should i say but in all honesty i think this car is actually a very nice nice car to drive i'm actually lost for words. i don't even know what to say about this car this is it drives like a merc should it it's got all the features that you'd expect and some more so whoever actually bought this car brand new obviously ticked a few boxes um and didn't just want a basic spec e-class merc which let's be honest a lot of people do go for because they come with it's like sometimes you see cars advertised for sale as well you know fully loaded and then you look at them you ask them a few questions has it got the harman card and has it got this has it got that oh no 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 but then it's not fully loaded automatically people assume because the standard spec list on these cars is very impressive so automatically now people assume that these cars are fully loaded when they're not it's just a basic spec merc or a bm or it's generally speaking it's more towards the german cars merc bm vags and stuff like that so um so people automatically assume that this has actually got optional extras but they're not they're just the standard features they give you with these cars and so they should with the price tags and i'm sure this car was probably about 40 odd grand 45 grand new um so you know you'd expect something from it you can get these in an e 300 i believe and an e350 so if you want something a bit pokier you know not 60 times around six seconds then get an e350 because i can only imagine there will be and if i remember correctly they are twin turbocharged as well so they will actually be uh, a very quick car as well and especially after a remap they're very very impressive cars extremely impressive to say the least so i think i'm going to conclude the video now so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video guys uh, subscribe to our youtube channel performance lifestyles check us out on instagram performance underscore lifestyles on facebook as well performance lifestyles uh, and if you'd like your car featured on the channel drop us an email pflifestyle at hotmail.com and we will be more than happy to accommodate uh, and like i mentioned before if you you know if you like the videos find them useful please do drop the videos a like that would be much appreciated and as per usual guys stay safe and hopefully we will catch you on the next video